Um, let's hope you can stick that shit fucking record. Bro, I can't believe I was, uh, <laughs> I've was. been talking to my mic sideways <laughs> for like three, four weeks. <laughs> niggas just fucking opened that shit up and just hooked it up. Oh, like, man. Like, this nigga just went. Like, just fuck it. This look good. It looks sweet. Now yeah, I feel straight. like it look lame, but it well, should sound straight. better. That shit looks great. Oh, shit. It's flagging. I'm over here turning my fucking shit. Oh, I my have my God. motherfucking <laughs> finger on the trigger. I got a drink like that. I ain't even realize it. I'm gonna be honest. Sorry. I don't even know how to number the episode. All right, so for real, we we shot like three different times. <laughs> it's just fucked up. Um, every time. So, you know what? We are gonna number this shit later. We are gonna number it in the title. I don't know what else to say. We are gonna number it in the title, nigga. It is what it is. Uh, yo, 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 you recording? You good? Yeah, yeah, my shit on. Hey, Look at you got the notebook and shit. Testicles, Hi. one, two. Testicles, one, two. How it sounding? That shit sounding, um, that shit sounding crystal. Hold on. Hold on right quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what I didn't do? Let what? me just go ahead, though, and put a little timer on. Oh, you, know so these... you put it up there or you just put it on your phone? Oh, on my phone, because I, I ain't got time to fuck with that, um, that shit. So what's happening, my brother? What's good, nigga? My brother, brother. What's good, bro? It's 1258. We always do this. What time we got here? Nigga. <laughs> but we've been here since like 7 o'clock. 7, 8, We've been here since like oh 7 o'clock. Oh, my God. We did the same shit last time, bro. What a waste of fucking time. Damn, bro. Hold on. Oh, no. Nah, my shit. All right. What? Are you good? Yeah. We I do. just hope it come out good. I, <laughs> I hope too, it come out right. <laughs> Now we did do this shit last time, bro. Matter of fact, I think we're even later this time, nigga. I think last time. No, like, no, 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 no. No, it was, wait. No, it probably was like 2 o'clock last time. Yeah. We was up to like 5. Yeah. Yup. Oh, yeah. Yup. Yep. So That's shit, crazy. This shit better than. Shit. This shit better, nigga. Every, every time you say that brother shit, I be thinking about like, um. We was on Mixer? Yeah. <laughs> you can't say nigga on there. Don't let you type nigga, so. Whenever you say brother, you say brother to say nigga. Yeah. That shit was funny. I see you got your some nice little get up you got on here. Oh yeah, my brother. Man. We What's that? Battle Elite. Battle Elite. Hey man, shout out Cameron Battle, aka Coach Cam. Um, this is this is his What's brand, up, Coach Battle Elite. Battle Elite. Um, he was a he was a James River basketball coach. Now he's a Foundation Academy basketball coach. Um, basketball trainer, basketball um, battle elite owner. Um, and what battle elite is, he said, is providing a platform for athletes to develop and display their ability, creating an environment that boy and please. experience enjoyable for our spectators. So um, go follow Coach Cam on Instagram at Coach Cam and Battle Elite. But this is on, um, yeah, I'm in my battle elite get up. All right, Coach we Cam. We out here, man. I remember. So I'm on there when you, like when y'all talked about it, but you told me a little bit about it, and he is like a trainer for like basketball skills, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he used to ball for Bird. <clears throat> a word? All four years? That's fly. Mm, yeah, he used to. Yep. He was balling. All day. I wish I balled in high school. What you would have did in life? You would have went to the NBA. Would have went overseas. If I would have focused. Day. I, this is what I feel. If I would have focused on any one sport, I would have went. Like niggas major, was doing like, everything though. Niggas was all over the place. Literally doing everything. I'm gonna turn this up because I can't really see no wavelengths on my joint. And I try to turn my mic. Like I see some, but it's like they real small. Yeah, like I was saying, I I wish I did play basketball in high school. I just didn't like it back then. I was trying to be too sweet, telling some. Oh, uh, it ain't um physical. Like, what the, you <laughs> said that shit for real? He was on some shit like that for yeah, real. Yeah, I was on some shit like that for real. But balling Man, is sweet, bro. Nigga, balling was my fucking life. And then, like, high school came, and it's like, like I want good enough. I made it to the last cut. My freshman and sophomore year, I made it to the this last nigga got cut. <laughs> yeah, bro, I got cut. Hey, but look, dude, I made it past the first two. This shit, nigga got nigga. cut. I ain't mean, fuck you, nigga. But no, back to Coach Cam, though. But yeah, man, Coach this... Cam, bro. Trainer. No, but look, what I'm saying is, oh. I can hoop. I can definitely hoop. But one thing I always had an issue with is handles. 
Never had handles, and I hate it. I used to hate on you. <laughs> when we used to go to the court, it used to be had moves and shit. I was like, how the fuck you do that, bro? Why does not me? So, I think I'm a, you know what? Just because it's one of my life goals to be able to handle the ball, bro, and be sweet and be driving to the hole and shit. Taking niggas. I might, I might have to set Coach Cam out, see if I can get my handles up. You, do, do you, like, like, do he work with my age group? Hey, bro, he a trainer, bro. Word. No matter. Yeah. He out here. Coach Cam, trainer. look, bro, I'm garbage with the handles. I can shoot, like, I got a decent mid-range. Bro, don't try to say, <laughs> this nigga said no. <laughs> bro, I got a decent <laughs> mid-range game. Um, Layups, nice. Rebounding, I'm a beast. Defense, I'm a monster. I just ain't got no handles, bro. I'm come holler at you about the handles. You think you can get me right? Coach Cam. What about you, nigga? You had handles. You ain't got handles hey, no more. Hey, hey, look, hey, I could definitely, hey, I could definitely use some um some some new some new information. I'm I'm willing to learn some new moves. I can definitely use you know some new I can definitely um get a better uh, That'd be my sweet. euro. You know what I'm saying? That'd be sweet for real. Yeah, I'm trying to do. I'm gonna do that shit for real. If I'm I get, get handles, up. oh, I'm out of here. Nigga, you get handles. I'm going to you pine camp. Shit. You get no, handles. You I'm, get shit snuffed in your no, motherfucking face. No, if I face. get handles, I'm going to pine camp, bro. Shit, I'm man. going to pine camp with a with, with a beat on and some shorts I'm and the, and the compressions bag. that's like half at the calf. Oh, I'm gonna be looking sweet. I'm pulling up with the book bag, with the headband. The yeah. Wristband Only thing else you gotta do is Chuck come Taylor. up there with hands too, because you gotta <laughs> you gotta be able to scrap. Definitely. If you are getting off too sweet, nigga gonna foul the fuck out. You can just see see if you got the hands after that. Yeah. You foul me again, nigga. <laughs> hey. Everybody been in that one basketball game with the nigga that that get mad. Foul me again, I'll kill you. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. I'll kill you, nigga. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> that's retarded! <laughs> you still laughing at that shit? Yeah. You found me, I will kill you. <laughs> so, in case y'all wonder, I know y'all y'all gonna be seeing a lot of little clips and little breaks. Hopefully, you won't. Hopefully, I'm sweet enough to make this shit to where you don't see it. But I, the cameras I got is only recording for like 12 minutes at a time. So, every 12 minutes, you could be seeing. I'm, it's going to be between 8 and 12 minutes. It's going to be a break in the footage, and we're going to try to put it back together. But we're going to try to make it as seamless as we can until we get... I need to flash these SD cards for real because it's like this software you can put on there that'll make them join shoot forever because I got like 250 gig um, memory cards. But... fuck was that? Man, that's the refrigerator. You making some crazy shit, nigga. Bruh. I be in the crib by myself, like, nigga. Hey! Hey! <laughs> what the fuck? Hey! Bro, hey, I was like, that's a fucking woman, bro. Nigga. Hey, bro. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, nigga. It's something in this motherfucker. Oh, my God. This nigga wait to now and tell me this nigga, shit. Bro, you done came over this shit some shit at times. I ain't bro. never bro, heard. Nigga. Bro, you ain't never. Nigga, you gonna hear some this shit? This nigga trying to scare me. Bro. I'm sleeping in the car. <laughs> fuck that. Hey. Nah, bro. Nah, the refrigerator, man. I don't know. That shit haunted or some shit. We bought that shit brand new, too. So that shit must got a spirit, like, from the niggas that made it. Nigga from the warehouse. The that shit must have crushed somebody. <laughs> nigga the dad the warehouse. He's stuck in the refrigerator now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me out. Bro, that's scary. Your milk is going spoiled. That's, like, the only thing that scared me is ghosts. Ghosts. Fact. Nigga. I ain't anybody get on that shit, nigga. Next. Yeah, no, yeah, next. Yeah, I, look, next. I went back to the little note joke real quick. Like, nigga, let me get this nigga off this topic. Oh, man. So what else cracking out here? Oh, you know what? I'm going to tell you this, because I know this is one of the things we want to talk about. I'm going to start it with what I did. I've been getting facials. Pause. I go to Massage Envy. <laughs> I go to Massage Envy and Short Pump. And I've had two right now. Shout out to my girl, Casey. Casey be giving me the, like, the crazy facials. I'm going to stop saying it like that. But anyway, <laughs> no, nah, she do a good job, man. She, she do a real good job. I don't know what she did the first time. Um, like, well, she, she walked me through what she was going to do. She did it. Great. I went back the second time. She was like, all right, we're going to step it up. This time, and she, they did something, or she did something else where 
I think it was a different product that she used that would help with the texture of my face. My face is feeling hella smooth. And plus, I be doing exfoliating at home too. So, you there's somebody you want? Um, who, who's that on that business card? Oh shit! I'm about to butcher this shit. Oh. that's your name, Shanisha. Shanisha, Shanisha Howard. I know you shot it. Shout out Shanisha Howard. She's an esthetician. Esthetician. You said it right. She's esthetician. An esthetician. You're esthetician. She do lashes, makeup, wood therapy, waxing, and more. Shanisha right. Howard. Dot s h at gmail dot com. Right. Call her for appointments. Eight zero four nine two six eight nine zero eight. Okay. Private Shanisha. locations. Shanisha oh, Howard. Oh, so she'll pull up on you. Esthetician. Shanisha Howard. Esthetician. <laughs> Yeah. She pulling up on you. Yeah. So like th- th- that's that's my first experience with facials, and it made me want to go back and continue to get them. But I've never went to like a person like that, like uh, just someone who is a licensed esthetician and 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 um and had them do it before. Would I definitely? Because them facials at Massage Envy is ninety dollars. $90. Okay. $90. I better feel like goddamn Squidward. But she nice, though, bro. I ain't gonna lie. And she tried to throw in the hand and arm massage this time. That shit was fire. I never knew how much that, like, how good it was until she did it. Like, because I went to the gym, like, two times or two days before my last one. Mm-hmm. And when she did the hand and arm massage on me, that included shoulders. The only thing that wasn't sore on me was my shoulders. And everywhere that she massaged, everything else was still sore. So that shit worked. But you know that's that's part of recovery. Like a whole lot of people don't know that. When what? you work out, like getting your shit on um, massage. Right. Like them no, I didn't know that. Shit out your muscles. Getting that shit, that shit like be part of recovery. Like you be seeing the niggas online be getting that shit, getting their motherfucking shit massaged. I forgot what the fuck they be saying. Some be released out the lactic, the muscles. Lactic Toxins, acid. Lactic some, acid. Yeah. Be getting out the muscles and shit. Niggas be sweating and shit. They be putting like some fucking oil. But them niggas be, niggas be yelling and shit though. They, they be doing that shit. <laughs> like the real deep tissue joke. Yeah, I don't bro, want for that, real. bro. They, they say that that shit like make your muscles grow up. Yo, she had me scared like when when when, when she was like she was doing hand and arm socks. I knew I saw I was. I was like, dang, this. I thought mm-hmm. it was gonna be like that. I was like, I'm gonna be a minute, bitch. Ah, Can't stop. Yeah, <laughs> farting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm gonna leave that one. Yeah, dude, that <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> Hey yo, I went to the chiropractor one. <laughs> I'm willing. I'm willing. I'm willing. Oh my god. Oh, that's funny. But you know what? Shanisha. Shanisha, hit me in the DM. Or I might even hit you in the DM. Let me know if with your facials, do you do hand and arm massages as well? And and what else? And let me know. I'm a, like I want to know the range of facials because it's like different stuff you can do with facials, like extraction. Oh yeah, they did the extractions, bro. Changed my life, bro. What you talking about when they be um, when they be making the shit come out your face? Yup. <clears throat> changed my life, bro. What does shit do to change your life, bro? Because it works. You can sit home and try to like like squeeze a bump on your face all you want. It's gonna get fucked up. But you go in and let them do it, bro. It's perfect. They, they get gonna, they gonna fuck it up less. It don't be fucked up. The shit be gone, bro. The shit be gone, and it hurt like hell though. It almost feel like a, a fucking bee sting or like an insect biting the fuck out you. You for real, nigga? Bro, it hurt when they do extractions. That shit hurt, but it worked. That's why I keep going paying ninety dollars for that shit, <laughs> <laughs> like a dumbass. Nisha, I hope you ain't nine dollars, man. Shit. I gotta tame my ain't this a stain on my ugly. Shit, she pulling up to a private location. I don't know. Shanisha. I don't know. I mean, look, even if it is ninety dollars, fuck it. Cause I'm already paying ninety. But I would like to see with different people, like like different, like the the difference from a chain like I've been going to. And with someone who's like just a a, a freelance is that the word to use a freelance yeah. licensed esthetician would do. I just want to see the difference. Sure. People got different techniques. Hook you up, man. Hey, what up? 
Bro. What? <laughs> hey, did you run a marathon or some shit? Yeah. I'm still fucked up from that shit, too. <laughs> My, um, when was that joint? November, November 16th, I ran a half marathon. People keep saying I ran a marathon, bro. I can't run no 24 miles. Is it 24? What would it be? 26? I don't know. That shit sound ridiculous. Like, I can't run no 26 you miles. thinking about that shit in my head now, and it's like, nigga, goddamn. Bro. The only thing that made me understand what 26 miles is is running that 13.1. And I'm like, no. <laughs> no way. I finished the race, and this will only be half of the race? Never. This nigga said... <laughs> Never. Bro, and that still shit was hard, too. Shit. Huh? You said, I'm still fucked up. Bro, my joint still hurt. This is like a month ago, bro. I feel like I got a minor tear in my hamstring, but it's behind my knee. It's all the way at the bottom. So, you know, the hamstring get real skinny when, it, when it's going behind the knee. So, it's more likely to have a complete tear from that shit. That's why I've been so scared to do, like, when I'm in the gym, I've been scared to do leg exercise because I don't want to pop my damn hamstring and end up like Christopher Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no, but like who? <laughs> who? <laughs> Christopher Reeves, dude. Christopher Reeves. Hey, I'm not laughing at this shit. You know like, who he is. I don't know. What the you fuck? know, you what know what I'm talking about, about bro. <laughs> I don't know. What I don't want that to happen. All right, nigga. <laughs> so... I've been kind of staying off of it in the gym, but what well, are <laughs> you laughing at? Bro, this nigga's a child, bro. This nigga's a Bro, y'all child. heard this nigga, bro. I ain't trying to end up like Christopher Reeves. Y'all know who the fuck Christopher Reeves is? Look that shit bro. up. This nigga gonna be in the gym. He fucked his hamstring <laughs> he up. Focuses he focuses on the wrong fucking, part. He gonna fucking do legs <laughs> and end up like Christopher <laughs> You focus it on the wrong part. The part I want no, you to nigga, focus no. on. No, the part that I want no. you to focus on is I don't want to hurt my leg. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Like I, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I, I just been staying away from um from the leg workouts. But the marathon, the half marathon was fire. It was one of the greatest things I ever did for myself. It it made me realize that even though, matter of fact, I trained for it, but when I got into the race, um after one mile, I was like, damn, this shit gonna be hard. That it ain't the same ain't mean, thing. That shit ain't mean shit. Bro, that training, yeah, bro, mean nothing, that training didn't mean shit, shit bro. Like Even jail. though I ran 12 miles in training, that first mile was not the same first mile that I did when I was training. But it made me like realize that I could actually like push myself physically and mentally and, and, and do some tough shit. And I finished it. I got the medal. I got a blanket. I got a hat. What else I got? I got a torn um, hamstring from that shit, too. <laughs> and that, that nigga passed you at the end. <laughs> he did. <yeah. laughs> so, wait. That nigga was like, I would oh, say oh, something. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Acting like, we right, like it's the 100-yard dash, bro. You only speed up on the 100-yard dash, bro. I hear, I beat my time that I thought I was going to do about 10 minutes. So, I don't care. I'm happy. Bro, this nigga really... He was like, I'm going to beat. Like, this nigga like, like, like you want niggas behind him. <laughs> like, <laughs> like you want like a hundred. Like 2,000 niggas <laughs> didn't yeah. pass you already. Oh, they you done pass from? you. This niggas behind you. Like this one nigga is not going to mean anything. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to gain? <laughs> what are you gaining from this shit, bro? Look, this nigga went through like. He passed that bitch. <laughs> this nigga, bro. He did for real. What? You never seen a, a two jump? No, nigga. You crazy. Bro, I'm pretty sure a whole lot of people never ever seen that shit. No, everybody. Come on, bro. One is for the fingernails. One is for the toenails. Nigga, both of them look the same size. One smaller than This that. one is bigger. Oh, I, 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 I thought it was the same size, but I've never seen the two one. You crazy. Together. I'm not crazy. You, you just... poor as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh shit, let me start this. Damn, how that shit go? What he said? <laughs> I don't know the first part. The said we on a whole lot of quick shit. Ladar step out of pocket, bet I hit him with this big bitch, you know? That nigga turning up, bro. That nigga's definitely turning up. Like, yeah. I, I, I've been seeing his, his IG. His IG is getting a lot more traffic. The music that he's dropping is sounding good. 
Mm-hmm. I, I, I see it's this one track he's pushing right now. It's called Ain't Got It All. Ain't Got It All. Yeah, him and him, him and, and Noya. So we talking about Lakito. Lakito, um, we're part of ten. Oh, he's from West End. And he dropped a project last month, I believe it was, called Misled. And what did I, what song? The first song I heard from him that made me start listening to him was the one I was just singing. What's the name of it? Hold on, let me see. I think that was the joke. Let me go to my the title because I know that joke. Yeah. That's, the joke, yeah. that's what made me, that's what got my attention. Yeah, yeah, the nigga yeah, was like shit. on a car or some shit. Yeah, the, that's just sweet, bro. Yeah, that's just sweet. Eh? Mm. What does it go? Oh, how I go, how I go. That's just fire. Yeah, that's yeah. just fire. His style unique. Um, his sound is definitely unique. Did this you, just sound like some Richmond shit for real. For real, I remember you saying that. You, I remember you. You were saying like his sound sounds like it don't sound like nothing else. It don't sound like a nigga trying to, um, trying to. Follow a wave or some shit. It sounds like some shit. Whatever the fuck he thinking, you know that's what the fuck he's saying. Yeah. Because it's like some is it you you I don't even know how else to say it, but it's it's like a nigga ain't making that shit up. Whatever the yeah. fuck he's saying, I I believe it because yeah. it, it, it just sound like because he don't sound like nobody else. He just sound like himself. Did you listen to the to the misled project? Yeah. I like um Project Pat off that joint. The school lunch. School mm-hmm. lunch, John. That John, that John was sweet, too. I'm and running he, out of um, breath. Then you say he, um... You say he doing the show? Yeah. I think it's on Christmas, too. OJ the Juice Man and Project Pack coming. And you know where they coming to? Well, What's the name of that shit? Main Stage? You have, you never been to Main Stage, because you don't even be going out like that. Main Stage, it's, if I'm going to a club, I'm going to Main Stage, because... It, they not switching no time. It's all rap music. Do they got the main stage? Nigga, shut up. <laughs> it's like, they ain't, they, they ain't trying to cater to, oh, we got to play something for these niggas. It's all rap music, bro. It's just straight. You would like it, too. Main I think stage. you'll like that shit. I, don't go. <laughs> I remember all, like, a couple of weeks ago and shit, I'm thinking, hell yeah, Juice Man and Project Pack going to be here? Oh, I'm going. I don't know if I'm going there, especially if it's on Christmas. I'm going to be with my nieces. Hell nah. I'm going to be with my nieces, ripping bro. and running? Yeah, nigga, yeah. Ain't, nigga ain't going nowhere, bro. Yeah. Hell nah. Bro, I got an epic bowling story. With the Wii on, on real life? Yeah, with the Wii. With the Wii? <laughs> what, nigga? I was in college, and we had, like, this dorm competition where people signed up, to, and we did Wii bowling. And I, I was a beast of that shit. So I was bowling strikes. This one nigga, I never seen anybody as sweet as I was. So he was bowling strikes too. So motherfucker had me shook. So we, like, we get down to, you know, in the 10th frame, if you keep bowling, you can hit like three strikes if you keep going. Yeah. We both did it. I, I did it first. Boom, boom, boom. Knocked them shit. Then he came right behind me. Boom, boom, boom. And that shit, the last, it, it, it came all we, well, if I wouldn't have bought that last strike, I would have lost because I won by one point. Oh, shit. Beat the fuck out his ass. He was embarrassed, oh, bro. Shit. Everybody was all hype and shit. I was looking sweet. This nigga won it. This nigga's a wee bowl. <laughs> we I'm talking about that. Champion. I'm telling a wee bowling story. I feel like a lame ass this nigga. <laughs> I feel lame as hell. <laughs> Hey, nigga, I was a real life bowling champion. Nigga, if I was a Oh, my you day, can I'm, bowl. Yeah, nigga, real life on my life. You can nigga, bowl. Nigga, for real. I used to hate on that too. For real. Like, I got trophies and shit for real. Nigga, niggas don't want tournaments. For real. I hated that shit. But I could bowl. Yeah. I, I ain't on shit now. I was like, why you keep... Why you, keep? <laughs> you think you can do everything, bro? God damn. I'm this a nigga, hater, bro. <laughs> I'm a hater, bro. This nigga do everything. This nigga was running up. <laughs> and then I was like, bro, what the fuck? Don't... Bro. Bro. <laughs> At least I know I'm a hater. Fuck it. This nigga's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, bro. Oh, shit. Hey, hey hold on. <laughs> what? Hey, this could be off the record. But then the nigga, there's somebody <laughs> playing Wee Bowling and that nigga clad Uncle House, throw this shit at the TV. 
And they broke the TV and them niggas had to get a new TV. Is that what happened? Yeah, I thought that's what happened. Them niggas was playing We Bulls. I don't shit. remember nobody breaking the, the TV. And the remote came off that bitch. I don't remember them breaking yeah, the TV. Yeah, bro. That's when they class it. Oh, my God. That shit probably did happen, bro. <laughs> it was so many people over there. They used to faithfully come for that shit. Nigga, they was for real about that shit, man. And then, I like, 2 a.m., that's when the money come out. That's when the money come out, bro. Nigga, the nigga was right. mad at me one night. I was over that bitch. <laughs> Boom, strike. <laughs> <laughs> they was like, look at it. He's an arrogant motherfucker. <laughs> you know how them niggas talk? He's an arrogant motherfucker. I was busting that was ass, bro. Shit too yeah, long, yeah. You know I was talking shit. I was bowling the shit then, turning around. <laughs> Nigga probably was looking at one saying shit. Like, <laughs> niggas was mad, bro. They ain't like that shit. Oh, Came over shit. there and beat them niggas in their house. <laughs> <laughs> niggas. <laughs> that shit was funny, bro. I, I almost got to fighting with an old man <laughs> that same night. Oh, my God, nigga. Cause you know how old niggas be talking shit. Anyways, I almost beat that old nigga ass that night. Well, I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> I told that nigga. <laughs> hey, bro, I told that nigga. I was like, I was like, <laughs> you take your old ass in the backyard. I, <laughs> I break your ass up or some <laughs> some shit. This nigga was old, bro. He was old. He was talking you too wait, much you shit. Wait to say that shit to an old nigga. <laughs> I'll break your old ass up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> practicing that shit. <laughs> no way to say that shit. Just, the visual on that is fucked up. <laughs> ah, Ricky. <laughs> ah. Get this nigga off me. Fuck. Oh, my shit. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, my God. Versace. <laughs> uh, he dead now. It's not. I'm not laughing at that shit. I ain't laughing at it either. I mean, nah, was just rest in peace, bro. I ain't trying to talk trash on him. Rest in peace, bro. Yeah, all right. Uh, hey, bro. You remember I kept asking you to go to these like, um, like rap shows, and I think you was. I don't know what your schedule was like, but you just always like was doing some shit. With the midnight shit. Oh, right. You was doing the midnight ones? Mm-hmm. So I was going to them. They'd, like, they'd be at the Camel. And wish I knew what the show was called. Don't know what it's called. I think oh, it's, it's called like Silk Road. Mm-hmm. And it'll be like rap battles. Battles and performances where each night you'll know who's going to go against who. It'll be like this person against this person. And what you got to do is you're not like rap battling. Although I have seen one of those there. But what it is is you perform and another person performs. And then the guy who, who started it, I, I think he started, his name is Silk, Van Silk. He will put a poll on his Instagram story and everybody got to go vote who won, this person or that person. And then if you win, niggas be getting like belts, like yeah. real belts, like, like WWE type shit. I'm going to say WWF because I'm a WWF nigga. <laughs> like fuck WWE. I ain't like when they change it to WWE. Hey, what was WWF, WWE, WCW? WCW. Yeah. Even that shit was kind of whacking me, but I ain't know it. It was probably sweet for real. And that shit they had Macho Man. That shit no. had everybody. WCW. Yeah. It was sweet. That was I just old know that. Joke. Yeah, I just know I didn't grow up in it, so I ain't really experienced it. But I experienced the the WWF. Nigga, wrestling was that shit. Wrestling bro. was that shit. That shit but was this, that shit. So niggas found out it was fake. Oh, I got a fake story about wrestling. Oh, but it's fake. I'm gonna say that in a second. They be basing the shows around wrestling. They be getting like like one of the titles is even called like it's one called the Intercontinental Belt. Well, I know one is the Universal shit. They got one called the Hardcore Joint. Got the Hell in the Cell. <laughs> I never seen Hell in the Yo Silk so do Hell in the Cell. What type of concept could they do with Hell in the Cell for rapping or music? You gotta say the most devilish shit. Oh, shit. No. It'd be four niggas on the stage and it's a topic and one person start, they gotta rap 16 bars, then the next nigga gotta rap, then the next nigga gotta rap, and whoever the fuck fuck up first is out. And the last nigga standing is the fucking Hell in the Cell fucking champion. Do that sound wet? It does. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It, it, you said it does. It does. Whatever. I mean, like, some, some, that's just like a, a rough concept, but if I thought about that shit, I could probably come up with a good Hell in the Cell 
rap version of that is. A nigga can get a Hell in a Cell championship belt. But that should be funny. They be even putting little skits on Instagram, like smack talking. You know how they used to do like the interviews and wrestling behind the scenes and niggas be doing all, all this weird shit. Yeah. Like I saw this one. Um, uh, which, which, what was it? And I don't even know what they was talking about, but it was, it was a nigga renegade and he was going to get silk for the universal belt or the universal title, however they say it. And all of a sudden, like, like he was on there talking shit. And then the nigga came in, the nigga still, either the nigga still came in or the nigga renegade came in. I don't remember who did it. And they started fighting each other for real. <laughs> and he knocked the nigga down and it was like, he was stomping the nigga out. But that shit was funny, bro. That shit make me want to go to them shits more. I ain't never been to one. I'm going to have to pull up. Is um, you a bitch? Nigga, my job. Fuck you. <laughs> nigga, my job. Shout out um, Marco Olo and Money Money Mitch. They out here, rich, my artist. But um, he was telling me about that shit. He said they had the belt. For real? Like one point, yeah. Which one? I don't know. I don't know. Nigga, what the fuck? Oh, they had the Intercontinental <laughs> Hell in the Cell Championship. You right, bro. Because I don't even... <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I don't know all of them. But that shit is hella entertaining. The Instagram shit is hella entertaining. And then even at the shows, they be encouraging the crowd to interact. And I like how everybody in there be supporting. It don't matter who get who the fuck gets on stage. They all going to stand up. They all going to come to the front. Mm-hmm. And they going to they gonna engage with the artists as well. That's what's that's up. A, and that's like a good place for people to get comfortable performing. Mm-hmm. Like if it's, if it's your first time performing, 100% go to the Silk Road event and perform. Because you're you going to... It's it's just a good environment for 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 um for you to learn how to perform. Stop fucking looking at me. And cut. Stop fucking- <laughs> 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 Who the fuck else I'm supposed to look at, nigga? <laughs> this nigga retarded, bro. You a fucking idiot, bro. <laughs> hey, so, so we done. <laughs> That's it. Um, no, let's do some freestyle shit real quick. Freestyle shit. You, yeah. You want me things? You got some shit already? No. Nope. Hey, all right. Look, That's why it's called freestyle. Right, well, freestyle, nigga. Look, Mike, check. Listen. Listen. Hey, what was your worst high experience? Worst high experience? <laughs> hey, you was a funny <laughs> nigga, bro. You was a funny nigga, bro. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, my God. That's what you said earlier. You was like, I'm going to ask you something. Well, Look, no, I, I ain't say that, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? This is, Anyways, this is a show. This is a regular. Listen. This is spur of the moment. Everybody knows I don't get high. I don't smoke. I'm not into that shit. But I did smoke. Oh, the last time I did was 2017. Was it? It was 2017. Shout out to fucking. I'm not even going to shout out Clyde Brown because this shit <laughs> fucked me up. I don't <laughs> like that shit. It was his birthday. And all, all my friends smoke. I'm the only one who don't smoke. So, I did it that day, though, because it was his birthday. That's my nigga. I knew him for, like, 20 years. So, I smoked, and I got high as a bitch. (laughs) And that shit fucked me up. I had anxiety for, like, six months. I felt like, and what gave me anxiety was, I felt like I didn't know what to believe anymore. (laughs) Like, I didn't believe life anymore. Like, I felt like, oh, this this is a fucking simulation. Like everything is fake. Why are we, why are we even here? Why are we doing this? And it fucking fucked me up for six months. And then you, this nigga over here think it's funny. Nigga. <laughs> I was a little bit suicidal, really. Oh shit. He like, he like, he <laughs> I, I was, bro. For real. Never been like that before, but it was that doing that shit fucking fucked me up. And I haven't done it since because I didn't even really do it then. Just trying to be cool with my homies. But So, look, I anyways. asked him. I, I didn't know it was going to take a turn. Like, <laughs> you know I was going to say all of that? <laughs> I thought this shit was going to be. <laughs> you thought I was going to have fun with that shit? That shit was no, not I, fun. I, I thought it was just going to be the, 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 um, the shit. But, um. <laughs> what? What you thought? What would you think I was going to say? I don't fucking know. Because <laughs> I, um, I knew about the other shit. But like fucking, not that you was gonna fucking um, what was that shit, bro? What? The, the, I thought you were gonna talk about the um, what was that fucking monkey shit? What is monkey shit, bro? 
What? What is that? I don't know what this shit was called, bro. Monkey shit? Yeah, bro. What are you talking about? I don't know what this shit was. It's some monkey, Monkeys? bro. I don't know what the <clears throat> fuck that shit was, bro. It was an app or something. A monkey app. Oh. Oh, the the, the said, app called Monkey? The, the shit that CJ had? I don't know what it is, bro. You said something to me about that shit. Yeah, because so what it is is my first time here seeing that shit was that night, too. It's like Snap. Is it like Snapchat? But you you will get on a video with some and somebody anywhere. They randomly put you on somebody. And if they want to keep like being on the video with you, they can add time. And I was just looking at TV, <laughs> like looking at fucking TV. And this nigga CJ was on that shit. And he put me on the camera. And I was just looking at the fucking TV. And when I turned around, this nigga had the camera on me. I'm like, bro, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Like, Bro, but you said some funny shit last time about that shit, bro. Well, that's all it. That's all it was. Nah, nigga, you said some funny ass shit, bro. What the fuck did you say last time? Oh, you talking about like what I thought about? Like, yeah, why he, yeah. Oh, like when he had the camera on me, I was like, this nigga recorded me. This nigga like, said, I felt like this video was gonna be out. Yeah, and that's I, what I, you said. Yeah, and I thought that um I was gonna go to Twitter or some shit, and I was gonna be trending <laughs> in the world. Like, look at this motherfucker. Hi, watching TV. Look at him, and I thought that shit was just gonna be out, and the whole world was gonna see that shit. But that shit, nigga oh my exposed. god, that was a bad night. That was a fucking bad night, and y'all thought that shit was funny, bro. Cause niggas ain't know the some real friends. Niggas ain't know <laughs> some friends you are. Niggas ain't know how, how serious it was, but yeah. I just made that to say that kids don't do drugs. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, <laughs> kids. <don't> do drugs. <laughs> Don't do drugs. Just say what, what the fuck movie? Oh, the Water Boy. You remember that shit? He, what? When when they invited the Water Boy to talk to the kids, I think it was Lawrence Taylor. And he was like, "This brings us to our next lesson, kids. Don't smoke crack." Because <laughs> <laughs> the Water Boy was stuttering and the shit. They had that, they had LT up there. LT, yeah, <laughs> LT. Hey, him of all people, what the fuck. <laughs> Retarded ass. LT. That nigga broke on. Um, what's that nigga name? Who, 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 who he fucked somebody up, bro? Bro, I wasn't watching dope. football when Lawrence Taylor was nigga, playing. Bro, but niggas know about that shit, though. Nigga, oh. was we even, how old was niggas? niggas <laughs> how old was niggas, Might have been in the ball sack still. Shit, nigga was swimming around. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I guess we can rap. I don't know how long it's bro. been, but... It's been some shit, bro. We, For real? Yeah, bro. This shit's been... Right, one, it's been 1,380 minutes. So, look, y'all. Oh we, gonna, we gonna keep coming at y'all with the content. We gonna... We might change the format. We might change where we at. We might... It's a whole lot we might change. We still figuring out what we like and what we want to do, but... Um, make sure to check us out on the Instagram, New Richmond Podcast, YouTube, New Richmond Podcast, Twitter, New Richmond Show. Because New Richmond Podcast is too long. Follow me on Instagram, T Mon Phillips, T E I M O N. Wanna say something? Hey. Like he said, follow the page, New Richmond Podcast. On Twitter, New Richmond um, Show. Um, follow me on Instagram, Social Intellect. S O C I A L N T E L L C No L L E C T. I don't fuck them all shit. Follow me on there. We out here, bitch. Hey. New Richmond Podcast. Alright, nigga, we out. Peace, you fucking bitch.